All right, folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Avalon, and today we are in Valheim, and we have a seed discovery video for you. This one does have a maypole. It's on a little island, and it's a challenge seed, I believe. So before I get going, I want to say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please like, please subscribe, please share. All those things help the channel out, and I really, really appreciate the support. So we are... Um, looking at this seed because I like seeds that have little islands with maypoles on them. Um, I know you can build a maypole currently in game. Um, I understand that. This is prob maybe a seed that you uh, pick up and save so you can play later because at some point you will not be able to build maypoles. Um, and if you get this seed saved now when they do the update uh, the next update, it will not change locations of bosses, etc. It'll be fixed in your library, in your cloud. So anyways, um, here's the maypole. Um, it's fairly close to the water. Not the closest I've ever seen, but not horrible either. And that's all open ocean right there, so that's good. I am playing on a modded server, so that's why you're seeing some odd trees here. A modded server. I'm playing with mods, <laughs> so that's why you're seeing like coconut trees, whatever. Um, if you do play mods, then uh, that's cool. This this may be the seed may be uh, good for you as well. As you can see, lots of raspberry bushes. Uh, let's see, we got four, seven, eight, nine. Nine raspberry bushes in vicinity. You've got wood resources here. You got piggies that you can. Um, close in you've got necks right over here uh, you've got a great white shark but again that's my modded server <laughs> my modded uh, gameplay um, you've got this little stone it is not a boar stone by the way a tree fell on my head at this spot <laughs> so uh, not too shabby um, of a of a maypole location you can see there's a little open forest over there a little open meadow i should say there's a wreck over there um let me pan out a little bit over here i believe i saw a five stone yeah so there's one of the old portal hubs um if you played the beta you remember that these used, these were intended to be the portal hubs they left them in there this could be a nice little area for um any type of building. I like building in this area with these five stones because they're indestructible. They set up a good defensive perimeter for you. You can build fencing around them. And then the area in the middle is usually pretty flat. But we're here for this maypole. Now, um, I'm going to take a look at the map in a minute once I get out of these trees. <laughs> if I can find my maypole. Did I lose the maypole? Uh-oh. Oh, there is a boar stone right here. Okay. We'll take that. Um, so here's our maypole. Okay. Now over here is dark forest over there. And I'm going to, we are going to look at the seed uh, map generator in a minute. But let's take a look at the map. So you're going to have to get on a boat for this, or you're going to have to go into cheat mode and fly over. Um, it's not that far. Um, it's right at about, what is that? seven o'clock at uh, on, the, on the on the clock so yeah it, and we're right here so not too bad you've got um some black forest on this side which is nice and i'll show you in a minute this map is actually fairly good now there's a couple of shortcomings with this map with any map in valheim finding the perfect um map slash seed to play on is part of the challenge a lot of people, um, now that we're so far into the game, you know, it's been out for a while, they've played through a couple of times. So now they're looking for specific map types. You know, I've had a lot of reactions to uh, my small um, boss seeds, etc. People are just looking for unique seeds. I think this is one of them. And this is a, a, an interesting little island. Um, you're going to have to sail here to get... Uh, or cheat to get here. Now, again, I'm on a modded server, so you can see cows in the background. Um, I know a lot of you play with mods. I don't know what mods you play with. Um, it shouldn't alter where this is located. Actually, this isn't the Maypole location, is it? This is another little village. Huh. Okay. Um, 
I'm on the wrong edge. <laughs> well, good. We did a little um, discovery. And, you know, these videos that I do for the sea discovery, I do do a little bit of a deeper dive when they're maypoles. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Um, this is decent because you've got a little port possibility here. You've got this little inlet port possibility here that wraps around. Now, um, I guess you could dig this out over here, but it's all shallow right here. But this isn't. Um, so maybe you, well, there's some, some tadpoles, so yeah, it is a little shallow. Um, I, you know, I don't know. I'm not a, a great builder myself, but I think that would be decent enough. But if you were industrious, you could dig this out, make a nice trench. All the way around it um, and it would come over here and you'd have a, a basically a little island but you know again it, it's really up to you I think this is where I would put the port and I just dig some of this out although there's a lot of fish here which is a nice little fishing spot anyways let's take a look at the sea generator so here we are here's the spawn and here's our maypole okay here's a little little dark forest down here which is nice and you've got some swamp right here to sail away so overall not horrible uh, in terms of resources at least in the beginning you're going to be starting off with um, everything you need to get through the, the copper bronze age so let's take a look quickly at where the bosses are again this is good for early game um, I call you know bone mass to me is when you start the middle game Okay, bone mass, and then end game is obviously the planes. Okay, so you've got Elder right here. You've got Ichthyr obviously on your main island, but then you've got bone mass right here. So a sail away for two bosses will get you all the way to the Iron Age. I think that's pretty good. As we'll see in a, in a minute, this particular bone mass is, is, is a nice location. Um, the trader. Uh, close enough. Um, you know, it, it would be great if he was right here, wouldn't it? Or over here by the Elder. i um, going to have to go up here maybe a little bit or down here. Um, this would probably be my ideal location because it gives you access to the swamp with the boss, the bone mass boss. Because as you'll see in a minute when, it, when we look at the crypts, there's a ton over here. So this is, I, I think this is your better bet for trader. But, you know, of course you do you. There's a couple close by. Um, as we pan out a little bit, Yagloth and Motor become the issue for this seed. And I'm okay with that because I want something, I want it to be somewhat challenging. It would, this Motor is pretty far away though. That's, you know, that's, that's a problem. Um, Motor is going to be a big deal here. Um, this Yagloth, it's still pretty far away, but... I think you're going to be able to sail over there okay. Um, this motor over here. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of planes that you got to hit, skip through, but these two, those are the, that's the issue with this seed, is Yagloth and motor are far away. Good early game seed, I think. Maybe not necessarily for end game or speed runs, but, you know, you, only you can decide that for your gameplay. Um, let's take a look at the tombs and crypts. And here's where things start to improve a little bit for this particular seed. First of all, you've got three crypts right here on your dark forest, on your little island seed. I've confirmed that they're there. So, you know, because sometimes the, the world map generator for Valheim doesn't always, it's not 100% accurate. Because <laughs> I've, I've found that out myself. They are there. That's a good little farm. You'll get some cores there, which is fine. If you're playing on a, um, a modded gameplay like I am, um, they will reset probably, I don't know, I think mine's set for every uh, three days or four days, I can't remember. But So that's pretty good right there. You're going to get some decent resources. Um, I did look, I didn't look, I should say, to see if there's copper. I know there's tin. But I haven't, I didn't look and see if there's any copper resources in here. If there isn't, that's problematic. If there is, you're okay. If there isn't, you're going to have to come over here. And I'm sure you've got three biomes over here. Um, you should be able to find plenty of resources. Now, that bone mass that I was talking about, uh, not bad. You've got 
multiple different crypts right here in the swamp area um, by the bone mass. That's fantastic. In addition to that, you've got two of them that are fairly close to him. Now remember, when you're looking at this uh, Valheim world generator, when they have markers on the map, it looks like it's far away. It's actually closer when you're there. So that's good. If you're fighting bone mass, uh, you can use those to your advantage. You can uh, drop a bunch of supplies inside the, um, the crypt, the doorway, and then run out, fight bone mass. If you get into trouble, you can run back in and restock with the supplies you left. So I think that's okay, coupled with the fact that you've got the trader to the south. Um, I could see you sailing down here, you know, carefully, because you've got you know, some planes here setting up a uh, camp right here or a portal right here and then you've got access to everything down here which is you know there's a lot of sunken crypts here if you're into the iron age this is a really good location you're gonna have to go through the plains or you're gonna have to sail here and land but uh, that's fairly good concentration of crypts for me uh, this bone mass would be enough I don't need more iron than that but to each their own um, what else can I show you here? We looked at tombs and crypts. Um, let's take a look at troll caves, because those are really good places to set up bases. And as you can see, there's a troll cave right by this trader. Okay? So troll caves are great. You clear the you clear the cave, you've got the entrance which you can um, wall off and put a portal right in there and boom, you just run out to the trader and you can run out to bone mass. So I think that's really good. Um, there's also one over here by the Elder. If you're playing on a modded server, some modded servers, uh, they require you to obtain multiple drops from the bosses because in the mod, like if you're using like a magic mod, you may need like three or four items from the Elder to craft a certain thing. So that's not bad. So I, I like to use Troll Caves as uh, portal bases, hubs to different islands, but you know, you do you. What else we got? Let's look at Leviathan. So there's some more good news. Is there's there's two Leviathans right here. They're really close together. Right when you're coming through to your Maypole, there's two more down here. There's two more down here. Should be plenty of chitlin for you to make your abyssal razors and harpoons. Um, that's good news. You don't really need to go anywhere else. Uh, if you can't get enough out of out of six of them, then I don't know what you're building. <laughs> but that's that's pretty good. Um, frost caves. So, the good news is, is you've got one here on this island by your elder. Okay, so these reset again. If you're playing on a modded server, they will reset however you set up the mods. Um, normal, I, they do reset eventually. So, you're going to be able to farm this particular one if you set up a base over here to the elder. A little bit further along, you've got a bunch over here, which is nice, and another trader. If you so desire to set up this trader instead of the one down here, you can do that. Um, so, you know, in proximity to you, within a couple of islands, you've got enough to, to farm that up, the frost caves. Again, this isn't meant to be a super simple speedrun seed. It's meant to give you a little bit of a challenge. Um, on a small starter area so you can really focus on this little area um, for you know in the beginning and then when you're ready to go outward you have to get in a boat and sail so there's that now with the motor location you've got a couple around him over here so you got that um, and you've got some uh, the, the new um, biome here which isn't active yet, but if this map stays true, then when it does get active, um, you'll be able to jump right over here as well. And who knows where the boss is going to be? Uh, you, nobody knows yet. So, is that. Um, let's take a look quickly at dragon eggs just to see. Alright, so you got one dragon egg here. That's cool. You've got a couple up here. They are a pain to lug around, but you're going to have to at some point. This particular motor has plenty of dragon eggs around it, so you're good there. Um, again, it, 
the motor is so far away from you, um, it's going to be a pain to get to. But the good news is, is you've got enough activation, enough eggs over there to activate the boss and, and finish it. So that's good. Um, I was going to show you. Let's look at piggies real quick. Um, I was mistaken. There isn't one on this island. I thought there was. Uh, you know, you're just going to, when you get over here, I suggest that you uh, get those pigs, those boars in, in the maypole area, which there's normally one or two. Get those domesticated as quickly as you can, and you can start your, um, your farm there. Uh, let's see, beehives. We want some honey early if we can. Uh, a couple on this little island, which is good. That's, I mean, it, it would be nice to have more, but, you know, how much do you really need? I mean, on the spawn, you can, you know, you can get three real quick before you sail over here. So you got five to start. That should be enough. Um, that'll definitely get you a solid, uh, consistent supply of food. Let's look at totems and tar pits. Now, is this near our Yagloth? Over here you've got a lot of tar pits. It's a lot right in a row. Um, which is north of our Yagloth spawn. Um, I think that's pretty solid for tar pits. If, that's, if you want to farm that, uh, you know, I know aesthetically that the the the, bl the um, build pieces are are pretty nice. You need a lot of tar for that, so if you're into that, that's cool. A um, couple of totems, and around here, I mean, you're gonna have to go farming totems. That's, you know, it is what it is. There's one really close to you, right here. Uh, another one over here. So if you again, if you set up your trader base here, you could probably farm that a little bit. Um, I personally struggle in the planes. Um, you know, I usually end up pulling too many goblins. That's my fault, though. Um, and and that's I've had more deaths in the planes than I think all the other ones combined. Although when I first got to the swamps, that was pretty rough. But anyways, I've mastered the swamps now. I'm pretty comfortable there. But the planes, uh, you know, it is what it is. Good, best of luck to you. So. I think overall this is a decent seed. Um, if I were going to give it a scale of one to ten, I'd probably give it like an, uh, probably a seven and a half or an eight and a half, and somewhere in there, you know. So I guess the middle ground is an eight. Um, it's not perfect. It would be great if Yagloth and Motor were closer. Um, we're not doing this because we want an absolute face roll seed. We want a little bit of a challenge, but. Uh, I think this will definitely provide that. You got to get over here. Um, I think this is a very good base building potential. You've got a potential port. You've got oceanfront, and you've got your maypole right here. At some point, we will not be able to build maypoles anymore. So, while that's not the case now, you can build maypoles. There's going to come a point where you cannot. And I think. You know, if you're interested in Valheim, some people play Valheim in different ways. You know, as an example, you can have a seed where you're just fighting Yagloth because you like where Yagloth is located. You can take all of your trophy, your trophies, your all of the resources you got from Yagloth, and go back to your main uh, playthrough and just put the Yagloth trophy in your at the um, at the spawn. Okay, Valheim is a fairly open game, which is cool. So, again, this maybe this is just a place where you want to build this seed, or maybe it's just a place where you want to farm Leviathan. I don't know. I think it's pretty pretty decent. I think you can get a good gameplay out of it. I don't know that I would do one here because I've you know I've got um, a couple of playthroughs on what I consider better seeds. But overall, I think this is a decent, fun little seed, particularly. If you're just coming back to Valheim after a long break because you know you're ready for the Mistlands or whatever, this might be for you. Now you got to get over to this Maypole, but it's a nice little island that you can call your own. There's you know some pretty good farmable resources in the Dark Forest little area on this on this island. I think you know it'd be worth giving a shot. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this a seed that you'd play on? 
You think this is a good build seed? Uh, I think it, it might be both. Anyways, I really appreciate you coming by, taking your time to watch my content. Thank you. If you have a seed that you want me to take a look at, please leave a comment. Just uh, tell me what the seed is, um, and I'll go check it out, because I'm always looking for new seeds to do. And they can be unique seeds. I like unique seeds, so something with um, the trader on its own little island, or bosses in unique locations, or maypoles, anything that's unique. That's what the Valheim content that I usually produce, and I would appreciate if you had one to let me know so I can go check it out, and I will do a video on it. All right? I will leave the seed ID in the description of the video, and I will also leave it in a pinned comment on the video. All right? So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you again soon.